Today I'm going to teach you rocking intervals. Uh, as usual, let us start by clapping the rhythm of the top line together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's clap the bottom line. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you can see, the rhythm is identical in both lines. Now, let us look at the notes. On the top line, we start with this hand position. This is middle C, but notice that the beginning note is the note F, which is played by the fourth finger. So the first two measures they go and make sure you observe the rest by lifting your finger when you reach the rest. So the first two lines of the first, the first two measures of the first line. Now the left hand, and this is what's new today, it plays chords. And the definition of a chord is uh, two or more notes played together. And we have two different uh, combinations of chords in here. We're not going to talk about their names now, but we're just going to talk about the interval. The interval is the distance between one note to the next. So in the first instance, we see F and G played together at the same time. And this is called major second, because from here to here is a second, and it's a major second. This is followed by this chord and it's called minor third. It consists of this note and this note played together. So measure three and four, they are played like this. All right, so let's play the first line. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now let's take a look at the second line. Now, is the second line different from the first? Rhythmically, it's not, it's the same, but the notes are different. The second line starts with the note E played with the third finger, and it goes like this. Okay. Now, the left hand replies with this pattern. We start with a minor third, which is different from the beginning. So I'm going to play the second line now. One, two, ready, go. Okay. Now, how many times do you play the song? Right. Look at the very end. There is a repeat sign. And so we go through the song twice. One more thing new here is the letter F. And it's pronounced as forte. And it's an Italian term means loud. So this song should be played forte the right hand and the left hand. So here we go. I'm going to play it twice. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> 